What's up guys? And today is a very exciting day as we are going to reveal baby Emma. <laughs> A baby and it's a bull and so adorable. Yeah. Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my god, he's crying. So I'm not even about to talk to y'all for mad long. It's really nothing to talk about. Like, it's just time to show my fire as baby. Mm -hmm. And I'm not about to sit here and say a thousand things. We about to just get straight into it. And that's it. Like, let's just show the baby. <laughs> but I do want to say today my baby turns three months. I was going to wait till he's six months to reveal him. But he's just so gorgeous. And it's like, I don't want to keep letting all these beautiful pictures that I take of him go to waste. Things like that. So, yeah. It's time to show the fire baby. My makeup is very greasy. I hate that my face is like this when I do my makeup. But okay, okay, okay. Just scratch you. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded like it hurt it. Emerald. I'm just you. You're taking your first bath. I'm just scratching. What? It's baffy time, buddy. Got your things ready. You gotta file those nails down. Yeah, I know. I was looking at them earlier thinking like, I have to file his nails. Emerald, you ready to take a bath? Oh my God. Daddy got your pee pee. Ha. <laughs> Why you have that face, boy? Oh my God. Okay, time to take you back. Okay, don't worry, mommy got you. Mommy got you, don't worry, okay? Okay, puppy. Look at your hair. It's wet for the first time. It's okay. <laughs> What's in those hands? Why do to keep eating him's hands, huh? Oh, him's got a hair there. Had a hair in his hands. You better stop it, baby. What? Mr. Greedy Pants himself. 
What? What's in them hands, Papi? What's in the hands, Papa? You better stop it. <laughs> you can't eat your hands. You can't eat your hands, baby. He can't eat his hands. He can't eat his hands. No. <laughs> you just ate your milk. <laughs> okay, then. I guess you can just chew on your fingers there. I'm still trying to learn how to make him laugh. <laughs> he laughs on his own. And he laughs when he wakes up early in the morning and he sees me or brash face, he starts smiling and kicking. Him love him moms. Why him love him moms and his dads? Him love his mom moms. I love my mom moms and my dad dads. Chunky guy. Say, I a chunky baby. Say hi, I'm Ruth. Hi to the people, yeah. Say hi to the people. Hi, hi, everybody. <laughs> You're so funny. You're the funny baby. You're the funny. Okay. <laughs> Why puppy laughing? I don't laugh. Hi, Papa. I'm gonna get him ears for today. Yeah. Oh, he looking like that. You see the camera? I a beautiful baby. Yeah, my daddy brushed my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna get his ears pierced today. Right, Papa? I go get my ears pierced. Yeah, you're gonna be crying and a little cranky, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, what? You be going crazy. Am I getting his ears pierced today, baby? You ready? You ready, crazy hair? You ready? Let's wipe you down and change you up, baby. Hey guys, so I'm about to dress my baby. I got his washcloth here because this is what I use to wipe down his face. Before I get him dressed, his little socks, his little Burberry sneakers that we're about to put on for the first time. Got his diaper right there open. This little cute outfit from Carter's with the bib, and time to get wet. Calm. He's still right now. <laughs> He's looking at. <laughs> like, where you going, miss? Okay, Papa. One second, babe. Stay still, Papa. Stay, wait, wait, stay still. Oh, sorry, Papa. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's his photo shoot today where we're revealing him and this is what we're gonna be wearing. Right, Papa? He's a little cranky. He just took the biggest doodle. Now it's time to change his pamper. It's okay, baby. Here. It's okay, my baby. It's okay. It's okay. Dad, I do your hair. <laughs> guys it's a wrap we just finished our photo shoot our uh, his first photo shoot this is not a regular photo shoot this is a fly baby photo shoot we have to book flea for this one because you know how my baby coming for the gram and yes guys that's all what else papa what the baby saying baby every time i put the camera on him he stopped talking because he likes to be focused on the camera Puppy. Hi, mommy, baby. Hi, dear. Hey, the cutie. Hey, the 
they're the cutest pie. Ain't they cutest? White and the cutest pie. Okay guys, so don't mind how I look because I'm clearly on mommy mode. My baby's taking a nap right now, so I just want to finish this video off by showing you guys some of my favorite things as a first time mom that I use. So, let's get into it. Honestly, going to try to make this quick as possible because he's taking a nap and he takes like cat naps throughout the whole day and then he sleeps all through the night. So, but as of right now, I gotta, but he wake up. Okay, so I obviously didn't fix anything up right now because this is like kind of last minute me recording these things so this is how things is looking right now in my kitchen but I'm just gonna start off with this kitchen section right here and show you guys basically what I have set up right here so here I have my baby brother sterilizer I use this like every two days to sterilize his bottles then I have this baby brother bottle maker and I honestly stopped using it because they said it doesn't mix the right amount of milk formula with the water in it whatever the case is so I stopped using it I just have it there like now for like decoration but I am going to get rid of it soon if anybody want it I'll definitely send it to you just let me know reach out to me through my DM and yeah anybody can have that I've just seen so many reviews about it on TikTok and I don't want to use it anymore so I stopped using it it's just there I'll obviously clean it to whoever want it but yeah the washing machine is on right now in the background so also don't mind that but okay in this section I have here his bottles that I use and I'm about to show y'all this bottle don't mind my nails because I took off my press-ons but this is one of my favorite bottle brands that I use for him now in the beginning I started off with the Tommy Tippy bottles and the Komotomo bottles those are the rubber ones but I don't like that the rubber in the inside gets yellow after a while so I switched to the glass bottles and honestly they're my favorite bottles now so I only feed him his milk through the glass bottles now also I heard that the Tommy Tippy ones are plastic and I heard plastic is like very toxic for your baby so I don't do the plastic anymore I was doing like the rubber and the glass but now I'm just 100% on the glass bottles so this is what I give my baby his milk out of is these Avant little glass bottles here and as you can see I have a lot of them here I have this rack here so when I wash his bottles I'll just leave it right here on this rack I have his dish detergent right here to wash the bottles the scrubber for the bottles and little other things right there for the bottles to wash the bottle with and then over here I have his water out his baby water I keep this one out right here on the counter and then I have multiple of them underneath down here but this one I just keep out so I can just make a bottle real fast and then I have his milk right here too which I have to put away in the cabinet my baby is an infant milk baby yes I know at the beginning I was breastfeeding but I switched to infant milk now so we just do the infant milk thing now I couldn't take the breastfeeding so I'm 100% a formula mom now my baby is formula fed and it's honestly not bad at one point I switched to the purple cans because they was gentle ease but it honestly gave my baby a big breakout on his face and he had like a big rash on both of his cheeks around his mouth on his chin and it just got me so mad I don't know I just felt like this one was a little too strong for his stomach and he was like a little constipated in the beginning since I was just doing breast milk in the beginning and I had to switch into formula. But now it's way better that he's three months. He's going to be four months and like two weeks. So yeah, it's been going good with the infant milk now so far. But I changed him back from the purple can to just the regular yellow can because that one broke his face out. So this is my baby's room. I'm not going to show you guys the full room because it is really such a mess and it's like nothing in here but storage of baby stuff so it's like it's really not cute i'm gonna give you a little glimpse but it's not cute like it's just everything is just like a mess until i move and get a bigger apartment or house whatever i go for i just have this room like a little junky just like with things but i have this area right here with like his stuff hung up right here his little clothes these are things that don't fit him now but they're gonna fit him like when he gets bigger he got little gucci stuff little Montclair coat just little sweatsuits another little Montclair another little Montclair like these are things he's gonna fit into soon this is his teddy bear from his baby shower and these are these pillows from the baby shower that we had so I took them home so I could have them in his room as decoration over here on this small little dresser is his diaper bag then this is something that my friend Alex got me it's like some custom box here comes with things inside this is something else custom that my friend got me I don't have any of these things up right now because before I got pregnant this was gonna be just my closet room and makeup room and chill room and then I had things like this in here hung up so 
this is not really settled in this room at all but when we move i'm gonna do his room really nice this is little piggy bank that one of brass friends honestly gave him like a week ago and i was like oh how nice of that these are the avant glass bottles but these are bigger i don't use these yet so i just keep them there to use them soon just bought him a new bathtub so i'm gonna be using this very soon for now i use this one that i have right here it's like a thermometer in it and it also weighs him this is just a little bench that i have set up here with the pillows for my baby shower <laughs> i just took all this stuff the teddy bear all this stuff just to have it in the baby's room as decoration from his baby shower some memories shit was a lot of money anyway so might as well keep these things <laughs> In this corner over here, I have his baskets, you know, for his dirty clothes, his laundry. I have the whites here, the clothes here, and then I have wash rags, towels, and bibs over there. So I just separated like that. Whites, colors, towels, wash rags, and blankets and things like that. I got his Duna stroller here, which I hope he grows out of soon. Well, of course he is, but I can't wait because I want to use my Mima stroller. And... This stroller, it's for me right now, it's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 because it's very heavy. But it's honestly good. I like that it's a car seat and it's really small because I'm a small person. I don't know how I'm going to do it with that big ass Mima stroller, but I just want to take pictures with it. And yeah, but as of right now, this one is I. Right. This Fisher Price, this is from Amazon. And I'm honestly going to make an Amazon storefront so you guys can shop for this. It's so cute. It's for when you like go outside, if you're going to a park or anything. It's like a basket and it opens comes with like a net and you can just like lay your baby in there i posted pictures of him laying in here on instagram but this is good this is 10 out of 10 so he is taking a nap right now which i know he's gonna wake up in a few he sleeps with his eyes like almost open brash sleep with his eyes open so he definitely got that from him but okay yeah so let's get into these other things over here i have this nanit camera and i found it on tiktok and I had one of Brash friends gift it to me for one of his gifts at the baby shower. And we installed it right here on the wall. And it rotates. So anyway, it goes down, it goes up. It has sound. It has the temperature on here of the room. And I just have it over his bassinet for when he sleeps at night because I have his bassinet in my room because he's not sleeping in another room. So I just still keep the camera here. So at nighttime, if I'm like hanging out in the living room, watching a movie or something, I lay him in his bassinet while he sleeps and I just watch him through the camera on my phone. So right here on my phone is how I watch him and it has color, but when it's at nighttime, it turns black and white. And as you can see, the temperature on top of there of the room, it's on 71 right now because I had the AT on because my baby's like chunky. He has a lot of hair, so he'd be hot like really fast. You can't see it that well right here, but yeah, and it has his name right there at the top. This camera was about like $400. And yeah, I just watch him through my camera all day when he's not in my arms. This camera also came with like, you're gonna hear my echo, but this camera also came with this thing that you can wrap around his body to check on his breathing. I really don't use it. I just check on his breathing myself. I can talk through the camera, so like if I go out and Brash is watching the baby, I'll just be talking through the camera right here. And it records little memories, like it has activity right here, it'll tell you motion detected, sound detected, and it also does like these little memory videos right here, like you can click and you can like watch memories like this, this is from like, and it like does its own little music and things like that, so. It just creates these memories on its own. It's really cute. Just me checking on him while I'm trying to clean up around the house. Also tells you like how old the baby's turning because you put their birth date in here and it'll tell you like this was him was one month, two months, three months. Yeah. Underneath his bassinet, I have his wipes with his wipe warmer. I keep some pampers down here for the middle of the nighttime when I'm like tired. I'll scoot this closer to me when he's sleeping. I put it towards my bed and like he wakes up at five in the morning to drink his milk or something like that. I'll take pampers from under here so I won't have to get up out of my bed. And during the daytime, I just have his other pampers right here on this little rack right here and like has wheels or whatever. So if I'm in the living room, I'll drag me to the living room, sit it out there. And I just have more pampers under here. Other things down here top right here i have other things it's kind of a mess i have to organize it don't mind this pink bag somebody give to me it comes with like nail clippers and things like that i just kept it because i didn't want to throw it out and be rude but yeah i have like his little brush things like that in here his pacifiers 
and like gripe water, things like that, nasal spray, Tylenol. This is for like when you get the shots, just in case you get fever or anything, and like the Smilicon for like gas relief and things like that. But I really don't even use that that much. I use a gripe water when he does the hiccups, and it honestly does work. Thermostat here to check his temperature. These little simple things in this cart, teething ring. But here I have this humidifier. And I always keep the humidifiers on. I have one in the living room and one in the room. Wherever he's at, I just make sure they're always on with fresh air. And I also have these drops that I put in it that I got from Amazon. I'm going to show you guys. I keep them over here in my bathroom closet. This is from Free the Baby. And it's like this one is lavender for sleep. I rarely use that one. And then I have this one. It's the Breathe Frida. It's like vapor drops that I put in it just to like refresh the room. Here, I've been using this a lot recently. This smells so good. I need everybody to go get this for their babies because this smells so good. And I don't put no lotions on my baby's face. And this, I can put it on his face and it don't break him out or nothing. It's really, really good. It just smells so good. So, highly recommend. This is one of my new favorites. I got this gel for his hair since I said he has a lot of hair, as y'all can see. And, like, when I take him out, I'll, like, put a little dab in my hand and just, like, rub it in his hair, like, so his curls could look really cute and moisturized. And then I have this Noodle and Boo baby spray. It's a room spray, but I don't use it for his room because his room is not organized yet. So I use it in my room. I'll like spray it on my sheets, on my bed, in his bassinet, in his bed, and things like that. I just spray like once and it smells really, really good. Over here on my dresser in my room, I have this Noodle and Boo scent thing right here and it smells really good just to make it smell like really babyish and soft and gentle in here so I got this also from Amazon I'm gonna be putting up an Amazon storefront for you guys and I'm gonna put all this on the Amazon storefront so you guys can shop for all of this but this is really really good it smells really good it's nice and gentle and soft it's a little messy under here but I have a lot of Aveeno baby stuff I have like the lavender ones and then I also have like the ones for eczema things like that like non scented that I use for him so that it won't be too much harsh chemicals on his soft, delicate skin. And yeah, Vino is like my favorite right now. The one of my favorites that smells so good is a Sheer Moisture. I've been using that too on him. That's re also really good on his skin because my baby skin is very sensitive. These back here I don't really use. I'm honestly going to throw them out soon. In my building, they have like this bin where you can like donate stuff. So things that I don't use for him, I'd be donating down there every week. I just be throwing my stuff in the bin down there. So my favorite baby wipes to use is the water wipes. He has a lot of water wipes because a lot of times, like, I like the huggy wipes too. I like the pamper wipes. But the pamper wipes, I feel like, even when they say, like, not scented or, like, things like that in it, it's really, really wet. And for some reason, it'll make his butt, like, a little red sometimes. So I don't really use pamper wipes that much. I like the huggies wipes because they're a little more dry, but they don't get too dry. And the water wipes are like perfect in the wipe warmer because those don't dry out at all and they just like perfect. My number one favorite wipes are the water wipes because I feel like it's just like no chemicals in it and it's really good. So I highly recommend the water wipes because those are my favorite ones, specifically speaking for me. Also forgot to show you guys this. This is a bottle warmer and I got this from Amazon also. 
you just have to like wipe it down and stuff because if you wash it it'll break this is my second one so when i do his bottles and like it's a little cold i'll just like screw it on right here and you can turn it on right here at the bottom and it warms the bottle up and it warms it up so fast it warms it up in like one minute two minutes like it'll just tell you the temperature that it's on and then it'll just keep going up and when you see it's like 100 or 90 or something then you can like turn it off unscrew it and then just feed your baby the bottle this is really really good i also seen this on tiktok so yeah i just be on tiktok yo ordering all type of stuff for my baby okay guys and that is about it i kind of rushed the video because i really just want to put this video out already because the pressure the pressure y'all yeah, be pressuring me but i'm about to wake my baby up from his nap get him ready for his bath time and i'm going to be using the share moisturizer lotion and the sheer soap for his body and this is his little onesie pajama his bib and his brip cloth i like to match his stuff i'm so extra i got his little towel out right here and this is also his little robe so when he comes out the bath i put this robe on him first and then i dry him in this because i feel like these little towels don't do no justice they still be wet so i like to dry him off in this first and then i use this after Got his little pamper out, his washcloths, one for his face, one for his body. And then I have two extra bibs here for the night that I leave underneath his bassinets. So in the middle of the nighttime, he burps, spit up. I'll just pull this. I don't have to get out of my bed. I reach right under and just get his extra bibs from underneath there to start my night shift. <laughs> And I can't forget his blankie. <laughs> I put his blanket right here. It's the only thing that I hang on here because I don't like to hang nothing on there because I'd be scared. So before I put him to bed, I'll lay him in there and then I'll just put this blanket from his legs down and I'll like tuck it in the sides or whatever the case is. So when I'm sleeping in the middle of the night because he likes to push his legs up, it won't like go over his face or nothing. And I like double it nice and thick and I just put it over his legs. So I look really crazy. My braids are cute, y'all like them? But that's about it y'all like anything else y'all want to see just comment below and let me know like i said my amazon storefront is going to be up this week so everything that i got from amazon that i got for my baby i'll be putting it on the storefront if you follow me on instagram then just tune in and be ready to purchase your stuff for your baby if you are interested yeah that's about it guys i'm out i know y'all have just finally got this video like comment and don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe to my channel i'm gonna be trying to do way more stuff for y'all it's just really harder now to have a baby it was like a little easier for me to do videos back to back when i was pregnant now that i'm not pregnant it's like i'll be trying to balance the two but yeah guys and i am a full-time mom my baby lives with me and he's always with me and like i said on my social media if i'm outside i'm getting paid and or i'm supporting my sister and i barely be going to parties and those things like that because i just be wanting to be home with my baby so yeah other than that everything i do is just out of like my own personal use to go out for drinks a hookah sign like that with my man and my mom watch the baby for a few and i just go right back up and pick him up because my mom lives eight minutes from me and things like that i don't like to let my baby sleep out or nothing like that i just like for him to sleep and be comfortable in his house he likes to be really comfortable here and that's about it i'm like a full-time mom so that's what it's giving other than that i'm out guys let me get ready for my night shift Look at Adam Bud. Look at Adam Bud in the bay. <laughs> and take Bobby. Here, take a Bobby. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching me. <laughs> Good night, guys.